Hey you guys, how are you? It's Herb. So uh, it's 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. You know, uh, as they say, freedom isn't free. And you don't really want to sell our freedom for 1200 bucks for a stimulus check. Give our freedom away. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying the morning. I just stopped to get a, uh, a giant large coffee for a dollar at the gas station. So they bring you in for a dollar coffee. And then you buy other stuff. That's marketing. But the gas is also rel relatively cheap, although I didn't need any gas, just the coffee. I'm reading, uh, you know, I'm an avid reader, you know, uh, readers are leaders, you know, see, I think the average CEO, as Ty Lopez says, reads like 52 books a year or something crazy. But I'm reading uh, Greg Braden's book, The Isaiah Effect, Decoding the Lost Science of Prayer and Prophecy. So, uh, you know, I got this book years ago, I read a lot of Greg Braden's books. But uh, it's pretty cool. He talks about the language of prayer. He's talking about in one of the chapters how he went to Tibet. And he wanted to talk to the, the, you know, the head monk, the abbot, about like what is the formula, like what's the science behind the prayer, how they work. And what he said was, what they found out was, and you know, you guys may know this, you may not, that the ability to create through prayer is the feeling. So when you create the vision of what you are praying for, saying that you want, and the reality that you are wishing to create, you actually have to feel the feeling of the created result. And that's actually the creation process, as long as you have no underlying blocks of success. So, uh, I don't know, I'm just uh, gonna make my rounds today, visit a few friends and family, you know, maybe uh, catch a barbecue here and there, but I'm just enjoying the day. You know, I'm at one of, well, I don't know if it's one of my favorite places, but it's a cool place. This is, I'm gonna pan around, but this is, um, it's actually the Mars Plains Library now. You can see the library. It's, I don't know, I don't know if it's five acres here or ten. But uh, if you see that little hill over there, it's not much of a hill. It's more of a bump. But I used to, uh, used to sleigh ride there as a kid. And then the trick was not to hit the tree down there and then not to go into the brook, even though the brook was frozen. So it's a beautiful property. Uh, again, I'm not sure who the original owner was. They were, you know, obviously millionaires in New Jersey, millionaires in, in Marsh Plains, and they, I think when they passed, they gifted it to the town, and the house became the library. So it's great to be a philanthropist. Uh, again, money just buys you time and money freedom. That's what it does. It just gives you more choices. You know, so uh, again, if you like our videos, please subscribe, hit the bell button, so you'll get the notifications. And, um, you know, we're about... Uh, you know, cool spiritual stuff, branding and marketing on a budget. You know, I have the book, The Lobster and the Chicken. Uh, my first book, What You Don't Feel Can Kill You. And the documentary film, uh, Pay Attention, Success Leaves Clues, which are all coming together this year in one place on one website. So we're working on that, you know, chipping away at the dream. Step by step, you know, that's what it's all about. So, uh, thanks for listening again, you guys. Herb Palmer Jr., Lobster Lab Media, Pay Attention Films. Please subscribe, uh, please share it if you like the videos. And I don't know, I was just inspired today. I'm, I'm kind of just leaning against my car in this beautiful park reading. So, uh, you know, when you get inspiration, you, you gotta, well, you don't gotta, but I always go with my inspiration because it usually is helpful. <laughs> and uh, as you can see, I fixed my glasses from the dollar store, the lens fell out. So when you buy glasses at the dollar store for a dollar, if you drop them more than twice, they break. So I put a little glue on them. I stuck the lens back in, and hopefully they'll stay together until the next time that I drop them. All right, you guys, have an awesome and amazing 4th of July. This is a wonderful country. The ability to be free and do whatever you want. You know, uh, I'll leave you with this. You know, the reason that most people don't accept opportunity is because it usually shows up in overalls disguised as work. Have a great day. See you from the beach.